Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to install OpenVPN on your Debian download machine. Okay, so here we are back on my download server. And if I do an ls, you can see that I've actually cleaned up this folder a little. I've deleted the zip file. And I've just left the main config file as slick.vpn, or rather slickvpn.ovpn. So what we need to do is we need to create a new file called creds. So we'll type nano creds.txt. If I could spell .txt correctly. Now inside this, what we want to do is we want to put our username and password. So I'm going to do that just now. I've saved it on another place so I can copy and paste it because I thought that would save time. I'm betting. So what you do is you put your username in the first level and your password in the second level and then you take out the space. You control X and then Y to save that and then hit return. When you do an ls you should now see creds.txt. Now that in itself is just one part of it so we have to edit our config file. So that's nano slip.vpn. We go over here to auth user pass and we put creds.txt. Do control X again and press Y. Now we need to change our OpenVPN config so that it always starts our default OpenVPN. Now the best way to do this is to do CP, which is copy, slick VPN, and then copy it to slickvpn.conf. Generally OpenVPN will start all .config files automatically once we make the following change. So if I change that, and I edit our OpenVPN config, which is under it's nano slash etc, default, and OpenVPN. This is the default config file for this, and as you can see there's an auto start section. Now if we do auto start all, that will auto start all start .conf files. You can also put the config file name with the full path in here if you like but for this particular purposes we'll control x to save and we'll hit return now hopefully when i reboot this will automatically configure so let's reboot if i can spell it correctly my typing is atrocious so this will disconnect my putty here which is fine so i'll just close that and then I'll go to my Hyper-V manager because again we know this is a virtual machine. So that's came up in the other monitor again so I'll rerun PuTTY and I'll enter the IP 192.168.0.66 I'll log in clear the screen change to super user And check the IP. Okay, interestingly, that did not connect. In order to turn on logging, we can do log dash append and then slash var slash logs slash open vpn dot log and this will actually give us just the vpn details so we'll save that and we'll reboot so if you're watching this the chances are you're watching the second part of my open vpn tutorial the reason it's split into two parts was pretty simple i had issues when trying to connect to vpn these issues turned out to be out with my control and unfortunately it meant I ended up splitting the video in two parts and also putting the video out later than I would have expected. The second part is about to continue but what I have done is I've removed all the troubleshooting steps from the recording which were recorded and I might, if anybody's interested in, make those troubleshooting steps available as a secondary video. However, for the time being, I'm going to jump straight to when the VPN is connected and working using the configuration that we've already used up until this point that I've taught you to do. Okay. OK. 
Okay, that didn't work. Okay. So I've just went and downloaded another config file. So I'm going to delete this line, which is where we connect, and I'm going to paste a new line in. Now there's differences right away. This is connecting to port 443, and it's also using UDP. It's still connecting to the same London uh, server in London, so we'll save that. We'll try rebooting now, and we'll see if that works. Yes! Okay. So, the problem was that the config file I was downloading from my provider was broken, which in turn meant I couldn't connect to my VPN. So, so as you can see, my remote IP is completely different from what it should be. Uh, 37.123.117.149. If you like this video, give it a like. If you disliked this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.